Nicely worked. Kwana. Doesn't win himself another corner. Last touch must have come off the number 21. Good battle so far between him and that man, Noah Simberg. On the right, time to pick out the right cross. And is that the right cross? It is! And Gambia fall behind. Congo had their goal. Gaius Makuta has put his country in the position they needed to be to qualify for the AFCON finals. And look at what it means to them. Long way to go yet. But it's now they in pole position. And Gambia will have to push for an equaliser now. Talked about the delivery not being quite good enough. That one found its way to Makuta. Got a second bite of the apple. First one blocked a point blank. But he beat Bubakar Gaye to the ball. Topo. Cynical tackle from behind on Noah Sonko Sundberg. Nowhere near the ball. Go. An hour still to play. Gambia in the middle. It's delivered in. Free kick goes the way of Pavel and Zilla. Did well. Let's punch that clear and then to one for Makuta to chase and he gets this. No. Still got the ball and can he pick out the right pass? And the referee points to the spot. Handball. Against Omar Colley, the captain, he's saying it struck his back, his side. His arm looked to be up, certainly in an unnatural position. Oh, hard to see from that angle, and that is the angle the referee had. Still not easy from there. I have to say, one to be debated. Long and hard, ball Congo's lead here. And he can Beautifully dispatched, they're running onto the pitch like it's the 90th minute. It's only the 45th. But Congo think they're there, or think they're very nearly there anyway. Babu Kargaye looks on in disbelief. It went the right way, but the penalty was too good. Too powerful. You see the way this second half is shaping up. And the first shot on target, the first shot at all, and it is Abli Jallo having an immediate impact on the game. Under three minutes after the restart. You can see the impact. His words at half time have already had. And that. It's lifted in, flicked on, and there is one back. Yankuba Minte gives Gambia hope. They're one away. And now we have a very interesting final 10 minutes or so. They've been good value for a goal this second half. It's been coming. It now has come. And it's lifted into the area. Badamosi all have equalized and it's they who are in the position to head to the AFCON final. First goal, we flicked it on. Minte was there at the back post again, but he wasn't needed. This time, it found its way to the bottom corner, unassisted. Pavel and Zilla gets a hand to it, but not enough. Nigeria won the final group game of the AFCON qualifiers by six goals to zero against Otomi and Principe. So the game was played in Nigeria, in Oyo State, in Nigeria, where Super Eagle was won by six goals to zero against the South Thomas side. Nepali striker Victor Osimhen scored a hat-trick for Nigeria, scoring his first goal in the 13th minute. The second goal for Nigeria was then scored by Ademola Lukman, and by half time the game was 2-0 in favour of Nigeria. Leon in the second half, Nottingham Forest striker Taiwo Awani scored the third goal for Nigeria, putting the Super Eagles three goals ahead. Then Victor Usman won a penalty, which he scored from that penalty for the fourth goal for Nigeria and his second goal of the game. The next goal was scored again by Victor Usman, scoring his hat trick in the game. The wonderful birds from someone to crazy.
Then it was similar to Gwizi who scored the sixth goal of the game for Nigeria with Victor Boniface giving him a very good pass to score Nigeria's goal. The win gives Nigeria 15 points in the group as they top the group and we heading into the 2023 Africa Cup of Nations. In the other game, Togo also beat Kip Vidi by 3 goals to 2, even though Kip Vidi have already qualified to the 2023 of course.